Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Mr. JD934. List. It's to show basically why I ran on and on my stuff. Yes, I can understand why people would not like the show because, well, I just talk about stuff. I actually don't do anything like all crazy and all that stuff. <laughs> but, I mean, I can see why people judge this, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've mentioned countless times before about my gameplays, which I just. It's not a live gameplay. I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting in front of the computer talking into a microphone. That's it. I'm actually not playing the game. I'm watching myself play the game while I'm talking. So, basically, I'm just ranting on. Basically, that's what my channel is. I just I just rant on and on about things. So yeah, and and for those of you who watched the previous video, uh, I. Well, for those of you who watched the previous video, I, I did actually get a light. Also, for those of you who are new, and it, this this lighting thing is uh, different because, as you can see, I, I do have a light. Like, you can see it reflecting off right here. So, as I also have a light, like, in that direction, just shining on my face. So, you guys can actually, so the camera can actually focus, and also, so you guys can actually see my eyes. So, the first thing, uh,. So first things first to actually get out of the way, uh, I might decide to do to to redo some reviews, uh, re-reviews if that actually makes any sense. Uh, I play, I might plan to actually do a review of uh, this figure, which with, with, uh, which this is the Transformers uh, Beast Hunters car. This is, well, this is the car toy version of Transformers Beast Thunder's Optimus Prime because he's in his uh, like heavily armed like truck. I don't even know what this vehicle is, but for those of you who have been on my channel for a long time <clears throat> and have seen my first YouTube video, it was actually of this figure. I can read, I can redo a review of this figure if, if you guys want me to just let me know and, or just PM me. Uh, yeah, I'll. I'll I'll read it anyways, so, yeah, I always reply to every single comment. So, yeah, this, I have seen comments about other people say, uh, I think Hasbro released a green version, well, actually, the, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but, but the, the windshield is green, it, well, on the Takara version, which is this one, it's blue, it's blue, like, actually in the show. And on the side, as you can see, the actual fake, fake, uh, window it's actually blue which this is actually more of a uh, screen accurate representation of Optimus Prime in from the Transformers Prime show and the Star Saber up here is actually blue too but which is which actually matches the windshield but yeah this is the car version if you, if you guys want to actually get this one I don't think the car sells this anymore I am not sure that, well, as of, as of this recording, I don't think the car sells this anymore, but when I got this, it was like 50 US dollars, well, close to 60 US dollars, if, if the car were, if I were to get the, if I were to get it from the car store here, but for the conversion rates and all that stuff, uh, this figure is a, uh, it's, it was actually 400 yen, yuans. I don't think I'm pronouncing the Japanese currency correctly. Anybody in Japan, if just if you can correct me, uh, I'll thank you. I hope I'm pronouncing that currency correctly, but I could be entirely wrong because I'm not Japanese. So yeah, this. I can just get well. It's it looks pink on camera, but from what I'm seeing, this. This helmet is actually red. Oh, this mask is actually red. So yeah, yeah. For scale thing, Optimus is actually supposed to be red. So uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick thing. These are his missiles, and they do fire. So if you push this, uh, you guys can't even see it. You push this, they fire, but they do fire quite quite far. So yeah, this little detailing, but yeah. Hopefully the camera is going to focus, but 
whole fall. I mean, you guys are gonna be looking at my face. Hopefully, I can focus on this. But as you see, just like a flaming missile. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much just just like a quick head down. So uh, yeah, this figure it is worth it. If well, it's kind of a bit overpriced that he pay fifty dollars just for this figure. I'm not sure how much they. I'm not sure how much Hasbro charges for their version of this, which is completely, which the only like I said, the only difference is instead of blue, instead of the blue plastic here, instead of everywhere you see blue clear plastic, it's green clear plastic. But hopefully Hasbro decides to release it. Well, I don't think so because this is the Carl's version. But but good job, the Carl. And for those of you who uh, who didn't know, I actually. Recently did a Takara masterpiece figure, which is a is Takara uh, Takara Bumble or Bumblebee, but yeah, that's that's just another thing. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, mainly uh, well Captain America Civil War, and I, I do my best to try and rotate everything. Uh, I don't. I try not to talk about the same things every in every video because I know that would get that gets very boring. But uh, yeah, Captain America: Civil War comes out May sixth here in the U.S. Comes out April like twenty eighth in other countries. You guys are so freaking lucky. And uh, for those of you who who are, who are on Team Cap. He, or wait, or Team, well, Team Captain America, I am with you on that. Team Iron Man. Uh, team, for those of you who are on Team Iron Man and saying he's not the villain, according to the comics, Team Iron, well, Iron Man is actually considered the villain of Civil War. And according to some leaked things, uh, Marvel is actually, is actually confirmed to release Civil War 2. Second Civil War, which, uh, which they actually have confirmed a spoiler for it. For those of you who have, who have read the article, uh, it says that you see S Steve Rogers, uh, re incarnated. That is all I'm going to say. And, uh, no... And and know your computer did not freeze. And well, I know your computer or mobile device did not freeze. I just paused because well, yeah, I had to do. Yeah, I didn't want to leak some more stuff because I know people are gonna hate me for this because when I do follow, I do follow a kind of a spoiler leaking site on my own personal Facebook page. For those of you who know me, I. Yes, you you do know what I'm talking about. So yes, uh, next thing is basically well, kind of part of it. I will be doing a kind of make a civil war uh review of it, but I'm trying not to leak too much spoilers before it. But I do know. I do know for a fact some things are definitely going to happen. Like, of course, Tony Stark will probably be the villain. But I don't want to like, guarantee anything. Because because you guys would probably say, Jay, you're, you mis said this in this video. So, I don't want to say anything, but... <sighs> Spoilers are, are going to be flowing out. And people are gonna be saying, "You are right, Jay. You're you 100 percent right. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I doubted you. Because for those of you who, who do know who I am, and follow me, and actually are friends with me on Facebook, you do know when I'm. Yeah, I. That's that's it for the second part. The third thing I want to talk about is well, YouTube and well. Mainly YouTube, but in part with uh, the Supergirl show and uh, uh, the mission, uh, the mission will be listening to me. 
But, uh, yeah. Peep. Oh. Really the part with people having opinions. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't problem with people having opinions. Or, uh, well, the reason for that is, uh, people's opinions, like, there's a certain limit where it could be considered an opinion. But people go way too far and start insulting people who actually do watch the show. But I, I recently saw a comment like just this morning when I was at, at school and I on YouTube. And uh, people have said that it's Supergirl show does not suck. It sure just sucks at Arrow. Well, but well, some people can agree with you, people can disagree with you. But if you're going as far as to insult the people who actually do watch the show, uh, people can tell by what you're commenting. Uh, people can tell by the words that are in your comment. It, it could be used to tell how many, like, if you actually watch the show or not. Because for most of the time, you just type up stuff on it just to make hate comments. So, yeah, while. I do agree with some people that the show could be improved. I mean, the Supergirl show can be improved. Like, I can agree on that, but... Like, the Flash show... Like, I can make a whole lot of comparisons with it, but... If people can say Supergirl should be fast, fast enough to just catch anything. But... I can already make another thing. Flash is supposed to be fast enough to stop Captain Cole before he even pulls the trigger of his freeze ray. That's how fast he is. He he's he's supposed to reach like he is fast enough to go from, from fifty meters away from Captain Captain Cole to actually ripping the gun to taking the gun out of a. Uh, I forgot the name, Snart's hand, uh, one of Snart's hand in like point zero 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 one second before Snart actually realizes that the Flash is actually running towards him. So, I know you guys can say Flash has not learned his abilities yet. I do agree with that because I have read the Flashpoint comics. Every single Flash comic I have read. So, you, so yes, I do know the Flash should be a lot faster. Same thing with Supergirl. I have read the comics for the for Supergirl. She is a lot faster, but she just has not learned her abilities yet. So, yeah, but just I can draw. I can keep drawing more. I can just keep comparing. But 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 recently I commented on a Supergirl video uh, about like why people think the show stuck. And somebody out here probably said show Flash was better from the beginning. Well, the writers are better. I can agree with that. But the only thing that isn't better is that Flash sometimes goes on a three week break. And well, Super goes regularly just misses a week or so, but yeah, that's minor. But for those of you who didn't know, the producer for both shows, it's the same producer for both the shows. Greg Bolante produces both the Flash and Supergirl. Which is how the Flash was able to cross over with Supergirl, and uh, yeah, that's kind of where people are kind of debating. But I rarely watch Arrow videos, not because I hate Arrow. Well, I don't really care much for Arrow, mainly because Arrow is just a human with a really super enhanced bow and arrow. In lightning, lightning quick reflexes. So, yeah, that's. I don't actually hate, I just don't really watch hero videos. So, yeah, that's gonna be for this list. Uh, that's gonna be for the list, but I just wanna say one thing before people hate on me and say you're stupid and all that stuff. I get it, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So, the, these, these are all my opinions in this video. Uh, yes, people can say all stuff, but just 
leave it. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you who are trying to figure out when I'm going to show my face, subscribe. Uh, uh, just just be sure to tell your friends to su subscribe and, and leave a like down below for more. And basically, basically just give me and just give me suggestions on what to do. So yes, I'm I know I'm kind of stuttering on all this because I'm coming up with on fly. Again, again, the list is is one of my few, um, one of my few less edited videos on my channel. So it, this just seems terrible. You know what I'm saying? That. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have, please be sure to yeah, subscribe, hit the like button down below. And I do videos every single week. I do I upload videos every single week and I hope and I hope to see you guys all I hope to see you guys all next week for another video. And fly hard pilots.